In today's video, we're going to be having a quick look at ChatGPT apps. So this is recent functionality that they've launched on the 6th of October. So it's just over a week old. And yeah, they've launched this new apps SDK. So um, there's companies already such as Spotify, Booking.com, Expedia, that have all launched their own ChatGPT apps, which are available outside the EU, Switzerland and the United Kingdom. And yeah, they're, they're looking like a very interesting and powerful way for these companies to surface functionality within the ChatGPT experience. Um, and they've made it available for developers to start building their own apps. There's all this documentation out here, some app design guidelines, um, probably things that you're going to have to adhere to if you want to launch in the ChatGPT app store or whatever they call that when it's um, finally available, um, which is supposedly towards the end of this year. So there's all this information available. The thing that I wanted to share with you today was this repository that Vercel have put out. So it's a starter kit and you can easily deploy it to Vercel. And essentially in here we have an MCP server um, which has tools with output um, and this like, content widget so that we can display UI within the ChatGPT interface. And we also, yeah, those HTML, I'll show you how it comes to be, but yeah, essentially you have your standard Next.js folder layout and then those pages are rendered as HTML and passed into the tool's output so it can be displayed as a widget. Um, I don't know the finer details, I haven't looked into it too, too deeply, um, but I have played around here with um, a repository, so I've just cloned this repo, ChatGPT Apps SDK Next.js Starter from Vercel Labs. Um, I've cloned it and I've had a little play around here. So I've replaced their standard show content widget with, we'll call it Find Freelancers. And it's going to be dis display available freelancers for the job title and location that the user is looking for. Um, and you have some options here about how you do things. But essentially, if you want to call that tool, then you're going to need these input schema. So this is going to be the user saying, I want this role in this location. Um, ChatGPT is going to understand that in order to call this tool, this widget, it's going to need those two pieces of information. I've also passed it in the structured content here, um, but I'm thinking like you might want to do a call here, so like get freelancers from your API and then pass it in the structured content here. Um, the other way that you could do it, and I don't know, I haven't looked fully into like the security side of this, but um, you could just pass the job title and location and then in the front end, here you would do the api call and then show it and that's kind of how i've done it here is we get the location and the job title from the tool output and then we're just filtering this like mock data to get filtered freelancers and then we're displaying it in our um in our ui so what i've done is i've pushed these changes to github i've deployed it to Vercel, and let's see yeah my freelancers for hire project. And then this is it hosted locally, not so relevant. Um, but this is the next stage is you go to apps and connectors, you hit actually before you hit create, you need to go down to advanced settings, turn on developer mode, and then you can create connectors. So this is the one that we're using at the moment. This is the MCP server. And if you make changes, I find that you do have to come in here and, and hit refresh for them to, to work. Um, if I'd push those changes just now of changing this to find freelancers, we'd see this update in here. I um, mean, if you add new actions to that MCP server, then they're all going to show in here. But then essentially how we use it is by saying, and um, we'll choose our tool here. We want to use the freelancers for hire tool. You can also prompt it to use a tool, but I find that it doesn't necessarily find 
tools all that easily. And that's something I'm kind of curious. Is that something they, that they're going to improve upon a lot? And as this becomes quite a busy space and you have quite a lot of apps within your chat GPT experience, how is it going to really differentiate between what you need and find the right tool? I think that's, I think that's quite a challenge. Anyway, we want to find product managers in Seattle. How do you spell Seattle? It'll, I'm sure it'll figure it out. So we'll look for available tools from our freelancers for hire. Um, connector, it understands that this is the input that you want to provide. Um, I can allow for this conversation. You don't need to do this. This is just unless I want to be prompted to confirm every time I try and use a tool. I'll just confirm. And then this is just bad design from me. It shouldn't really show any responses. But once it finally gives those as input, that passes into the HTML that's been passed over. Um, and yeah, we have our output. We have our product manager in Seattle. I just had a thought there. I guess I'll share it. So you, maybe you don't run into this problem. I was thinking that maybe you can do an API call on this end. But in the MCP server, we have this get app SDK SDK compatible HTML. And so it fetches the URL content and then returns it, I guess, as HTML. And then that HTML gets passed in the widget. So I imagine you really need to do all of your data collection server side and pass it in this structured content. So you would, you would get it here and then pass it in the structured content here. And then the front end is truly just template like handlebars or something like that um, and it doesn't have the ability to do API fetches would need further testing but yeah I think this is I think this is really interesting I think people are going to come up with some really cool ways of using this I think the general experience needs improving um, am I going to remember all the tools that I have and really use them effectively like that I think I just want to have a normal conversation and for it to surface tools as and when they're most appropriate. But yeah, I hope you found that helpful. I've certainly found it interesting to have a little play around with and keep up to date with what's out there and available. Um, and I think this is going to really, really change. Um, I wish I was in the US. I need to get a VPN and, and try some of those like Spotify, Expedia, Booking.com and see really how integrated they are and how pleasant that experience is. Um, so if you've got any experience with those, if you're in the US or um, somewhere else where you can access those things, let me know in the comments how you find that. If you've got any questions about this or you want to chat about any of it further, drop me a message on LinkedIn or DM on LinkedIn or Instagram. Um, links are in my bio on YouTube and I'd love to have a conversation with you. Take care. Thanks.